हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू हेल्थ केयर इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर अनदर ग्रेट बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट आइडिया फॉर बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स व्हिच कैन बी कैरीड आउट एज दे आर मिनी प्रोजेक्ट और फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट before get into the idea we would like to request you all to subscribe to our youtube channel to show us your support for us this will definitely encourage us to do more biomedical engineering project related videos also please do share our project idea playlist with all your biomedical engineering friends contacts groups and circles to let them know these nice ideas we are very happy to hear your opinions on the comment section below okay now let's see the new project idea which is designing and implementation of non invasive blood glucose and hemoglobin detection using near infrared technology The idea behind this biomedical engineering project is to combine the blood glucose monitoring system and hemoglobin monitoring system. Combination and the monitoring system of these two systems can be carried out non-invasively using the near infrared also known as NIR technology which is based on transmittance and the final prototype or model is to develop a portable device let me give you a short idea about the project concept the project describes the tactic of measurement of the glucose concentration and simultaneously hemoglobin within the human in the human blood non invasively using the painless near infrared based optical technique in recent practice the concentration of glucose and hemoglobin in blood is measured using invasive techniques which generally involve pricking finger the frequent finger pricking causes damages on the skin and also increase the danger of spreading infectious diseases so the development of non invasive blood sugar and hemoglobin measurement system are going to be very beneficial for diabetic patient the proposed idea uses near infrared also known as nir spectroscopy to work out blood sugar levels supported transmittance spectroscopy emitting signals of 940 nanometer wavelength these optical signals are sent through the fingertip and reflected signals are detected by phototransistor placed the glucose concentration and the hemoglobin within the blood are determined by analyzing the variations within the intensity of the received signal obtained after reflection the described system is majorly useful for diabetic patients in this project we can use arduino uno for the acquisition and processing of the signals this proposed low cost device could avoid complicated procedures and provides continuous monitoring of glucose and hemoglobin concentration now let's get to know the existing methods glucose and hemoglobin concentration can be determined using whole blood plasma or serum samples although the last two are preferred because reading from whole blood are usually 15% lower due to the additional water content in the blood cells as such standard methods require a content amount of blood meaning they are invasive enzymatic amperometric and hexokinase 
are the preferred method for measuring blood glucose concentrations at laboratories. There are two types of devices intended for personal use and self-assessment. First one is non-continuous monitoring also called NCGM. Second one is continuous glucose monitoring also known as CGM. Let's see some important drawbacks in the existing method. The existing method of glucose monitoring are mostly invasive and not affordable. Extracting of blood is needed for the determination of glucose level and hemoglobin content which is very inconvenient to the patient. This invasive method can cause infection and irritation to the patient. Now let us tell you a solution as a proposed method for these existing problems. Near infrared spectroscopy also called NIRS technology relies on the absorption and scattering of wavelengths in the 780 nanometer to 2500 nanometer range due to molecular vibrations and rotation of bonds inside of the molecule. It uses three basic measurement modes transmittance, reflectance which includes diffuse reflectance and interactance. Transmittance mode is preferred for analyzing fluids and very thin or transparent samples whereas reflectance and interactance are preferred with a dense solid or thickness samples. Now let us introduce the advantages of this proposed system. Near infrared technology based glucose monitoring can be used for diagnosing anemia, hyperglycemia and several other similar diseases or conditions. Management of diabetes mellitus through continuous glucose monitoring. Effective and accurate glucose and hemoglobin monitoring non-invasively. Finally, let us give you some ideas about the novelty of this project idea. As further existing methods have invasive method of measuring blood glucose and hemoglobin in our blood which may cause irritability and inconvenience for the patient. These drawbacks can be overcome by this proposed method with more accuracy and more precision. Guys, thank you for your time watching this project idea concept video. We would like to remind you all to subscribe our YouTube channel, share our project idea videos and the other videos as well with all your biomedical engineering circles. This will be a huge encouragement and support for us. We will be releasing another modern project concept project idea, especially biomedical engineering project idea very soon. Stay tuned and thank you so much for watching this entire video.